Is that you? Hello, everybody. Welcome back <laughs> to the world of Plan Boy. I'm back. I've been lost. I've been lost in this world of Plant Boy. I've been lost in this um, maze of a world. But I have found myself and I'm back. So hello everybody. Welcome back. Because I'm also welcoming myself back. Because I was somewhere, nowhere to be found um, when it comes to your side and my side. But I have found myself. So now that I have found myself, I am here back into the world of Plant Boy. And we are here for the content. Okay, so um, I know in the past I have been unorganized with the way I upload videos. And if this is your first time coming here, hello, welcome to the world of Plant Boy. I hope you enjoy it here. But to get started, I will be releasing one reading and one, and one Plant Boy content video. I have been creating nonetheless, okay? I've been creating art. I've been reading i've been learning i've been doing a lot of things i've been discovering please ignore my hair if it's just everywhere but maybe that can be some plant boy content i just cut my hair right here but we'll see um but yeah so please expect one reading every week i'm still trying to figure out the days because my schedule is weird with school you know i got zoom i got like assignments due different days midterms like everything is complicated we have like real life issues real life drama but you know it's chill um so yeah thank you for clicking on this video thank you for showing me love because you guys are all about love and i love it like i can already feel the love and i'm happy to be back like it just feels good to be back in the world of plant boy so um yeah today's reading will be assignment graded see i just got an assignment graded for a field trip all right cool so everybody's favorite content is spouse content um your future lover so we're gonna start off strong and we're gonna start off with the face of your future spouse what will your future spouse look like okay what are the physical characteristics that will come with your future spouse and we're not only going to get physical characteristics, we will also get personality. We will also get energy, okay? Sometimes the whole family dynamic comes in, children come in. We'll see who comes in and what is there to read for you. So I hope everybody is healing. I hope everybody is doing well with this new year. I hope everybody's doing well, okay? Because I was like... I never like to place like wellness and goodness and bad on how I feel. It's just how I feel. So like I just felt a certain way and I feel better. So yeah, and I've been feeling better because my habits have changed. Things around me have changed and the future will change with it. The present moment is changing and yeah, we are attracting the best. So let's get into it. I will be showing you three stones individually with the card so you can... I'm going to put a card underneath the stone so I can technically call it a pick a card. But you're going to be looking at stones individually and then you'll see them all together so you can pick according to your intuition. Because I am here using my intuition to help you, but I hope that you also use your own intuition to help yourself throughout the reading. Do you understand what I'm saying? Not everything is going to be for you because this is a general reading. But if your intuition is telling you that that whole thing is for you, then it is for you. If your intuition is telling you, no, that's not for me, but this part was for me, then that's for you, okay? Listen to what is striking you. Time stamps will be below. Also, if you're waiting for a private reading from me, I apologize. They're all backed up and it's hard to like keep private readings going as i'm also in school because it's like i want to give you guys the best of energy i'm not just trying to take your money and give you private readings you know i'm actually like taking my time to meditate on you and what you want the question involved the reading and i will also be giving out discounts so if you have not heard from me from months or even more than that please expect a very um, large discounts on your personal reading okay but i hope you all understand i hope it's not annoying to like write to me and then not get a response i really do apologize for that 
that's like the most annoying thing but it honestly is kind of overwhelming so um thank you for coming through to these general readings in the meantime um, but definitely when summertime comes personal readings back to back all right so i will be using the tarot grand lux along with the morgan greer tarot to see what your future spouse is going to look like okay let's get to the stones all right so this gray stone is stone number one beautiful stone stone number one this one always reminds me of the moon like i just feel like i'm looking at the moon when i look at it stone number one This is a moonstone, and this is stone number two. Stone number three, this is obsidian. now you can focus on the intention close your eyes take a deep breath open your eyes and pick according to your intuition which stone is calling out to you which stone do you feel most drawn to take as much time as you need pause the video if you want all right let's begin hello stone number one welcome to your reading thank you for coming through first of all let's start off by shuffling the tarot grand lux okay Whew. to begin i feel like you let me try to organize my cards first because hold up i feel like you guys are very much um home bodies but like I feel like number one, you guys are homebodies. I feel like you guys are intellectuals. I feel like you are people who are constantly trying to strive for the best when it comes to your mentality, when it comes to your intellect. I feel like you want somebody who is an intellectual, okay? Somebody who is sharp with their mind, okay? This person might be considered cold or not as emotional as others, but at the same time, you are there for the intellect. You are there for the mind connection, okay? So maybe in the past you've been with somebody who's more emotionally involved, but there wasn't really a mental connection. So now I feel like you are like purposely trying to manifest somebody who is intellectually uplifted, intellectually known. I feel like this person is known for their intellect. You know, this person is known for being able to make the right decisions. I feel like you probably want somebody who can make decisions for you or like with you, or it's like an accompanied thing when it comes to intellects. Like you like to do something with the minds together. Your passions or your hobbies or your job, your occupation has to do with like intellectual work, mind work, maybe even computer science or just computer work. And maybe this person is also in the same field as you. So you guys kind of just click on that level, you know? Some of you guys might be meeting this person in a work setting or in a school setting or in a setting where you're learning from each other, okay? I do feel like this is somebody you're trying to manifest or this is somebody you know of. Like, you know, somebody from your work setting or your school setting or somebody around you who is just like smart, who you ask questions about. Maybe you know somebody who's doing the same thing as you. So you like DM them or you text them and you ask them questions, but you're really just like trying to start a conversation through these questions you're asking, you know, because you're trying to get at them. I'm feeling like that kind of little vibe, okay? Like you're not yet with them. I feel like some of you guys have an eye on this person who is like in the same field of study, in the same field of occupation. I feel like you just talk about a mutual thing, okay? Like a mutual topic that your minds can both talk about. Your minds can both like, you know, 
It's not like one person's really learning from the other. It's like a back and forth minds thing, you know? Apart from the whole intellectual thing, like how I said, maybe this person's not as emotional. I feel like this person is very much passionate. So this person isn't necessarily cold. This person is actually very warm, very passionate, very, um, very active okay very active in the way they speak in the way they act okay like active like they act on what they want to do they act upon what they think they act upon what they say you know they say what they do and they do what they say i'm feeling like this is somebody who is very smart and witty with their words but also somebody who does not lie i feel like this is somebody who is um true to their words true to what they say Okay, this person is like the um, polar opposite, maybe. But again, there's that similarity. Like, you guys are both horses. Like, you guys are both horses. You guys are both taking that chariot somewhere. But there's a difference in the coloration. There's a difference in appearance. There's a difference in like, there's like a polarity there, okay? yin yang maybe this is your internal selves or maybe this is your external selves maybe one of you guys look completely different from the other or you would have never thought you would be with somebody like this or maybe you've never pictured yourself with somebody who is so different from you and you ended up actually liking having somebody who's opposites from you okay again very intellectual very smart i'm feeling like a lot of learning here i'm feeling like a lot of like learning experience the same kind of realm of work realm of study i'm feeling like that similarity like similarities with the mind but then maybe when it comes to um emotions or passions you guys are completely opposite or like what you guys really desire when it comes to love is completely different but you guys have an intellectual relationship you know i'm feeling like there's a polarity there that keeps you guys interested but then the similarities are there to keep you guys engaged and not too distant from each other okay like the mind is always keeping you together but then those polarities of like passion and emotion are what keep you guys kind of active in the relationship and excited okay but let's get to the physical characteristics all right how does this person one how does this person look so when it comes to the physical face of your person, I feel like they have a very welcoming face. I feel like they have, they have like an excited face to see you. This is not somebody who is like intimidating in the way where like you don't want to talk to them, but this is somebody who is intimidating in like what they do. Like their actions are intimidating, but like as soon as they're done working or as soon as they're done doing this like activity that's intimidating like maybe they're so good at a sport and when you watch them do this sport it's very intimidating very like active very aggressive and you feel intimidated by that but then like you almost think they look angry you think they look scary you think that they're like not who they are okay but then when you get to know them as soon as they get off the fields they'll come to you and their face is very soft their energy is very loving, very nurturing, okay? It's kind of like, again, that complete opposite. I'm feeling like it's all in the eyes. I feel like this person might have lighter eyes. I'm feeling like this person has fair, fairer features and skin tone, like lighter, softer features and skin tone, petite features, like smaller features. Um, I'm feeling like this person is very, very giving when it comes to their energy, when it comes to their gaze and their eyes. I feel like they're very giving and I feel like they're there to kind of make you feel comfortable, okay? So even if they're intimidating in the way they're doing something, maybe even like if they're researching or on the computer or like talking about their passions, talking about their work, maybe their eyes like get intense and get scary or they get too like into the topic or something like that i'm feeling like there's like an aggressive side to what they talk about there's an aggressive side to when they're passionate about a discussion when they're passionate about something and i feel like that can kind of turn you off and think that they're aggressive but it's not it's just passion that's coming through i'm feeling like they do stuff with passion they do stuff with like um a lot of energy and then later on like once it's just you two or once that topic has kind of just like gone away 
and it's more just about you and them, I feel like that's when the softness comes about. That's when the caring, nurturing side comes about, okay? Like they can look angry. I'm feeling like they have strong eyebrows, strong eyes, but then they like completely change their features and then they look soft. And then suddenly their eyebrows look softer, their eyes look softer. I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like this person when it comes to body type, very big, like bigger body type. I'm feeling like um, a stronger build, okay? Whether this is male or female, like a stronger, thicker build, but the face is very petite and small, like a pointy nose, maybe even like smaller lips, like light eyes, but I'm feeling like a strong eyebrow type of thing, maybe a strong eyebrow bridge, okay? Maybe like their head comes out a little, but then it goes smaller and more petite as it goes down, okay? All right, let's get more about their face with this. Number one, I feel like their bone structure is very strong. Like I said, the eyebrow bridge, the eyebrow bridge is strong. Maybe their cheekbones are strong, but when it comes to their actual like, like skin features, like lips and nose, it's like petite and small, but their actual structure, like the actual structure of their bones, they're like, they're bigger built, you know, they're built to be bigger, but their features and their skin is very fair and soft and delicate because we have a nice soft rose here and again you think they're intimidating like people think death is intimidating but at the end of the day we have a flower blooming it's not very intimidating we also have the king of swords again we have the seven of wands just a beautiful relationship i'm feeling like a very strong dynamic a very passionate dynamic intellectual dynamic something you're learning from this person again like i said and i feel like you guys are just very uh, strong individuals so when you come together it makes an even stronger pair and i love to see that so so thank you for watching please comment like and subscribe if that resonated with you and until next time the world of plant boy hello number two welcome to your reading thank you for coming through Let's shuffle your deck. We're gonna start off with the Tarot Grand Lux. To begin, I saw the Two of Swords, which was like the veil was covering the eyes. And then this world kept popping out, which is like the giant eye you see. I feel like there's something strong with the eyes of your person. I feel like maybe your future spouse will be insecure with the way they look at you or maybe they have like social anxiety where they don't like to make eye contact and maybe when it comes to you eye contact is very important so let's say in the future you stumble upon your future spouse you don't know if this is your future spouse but they look socially anxious they express their social anxiety to you they cannot make eye contact but then suddenly they're making strong eye contact with you it's because they like you. It's because they feel soft in your eyes. They feel soft in your gaze, okay? They feel um, a likeness in your eyes, okay? And the way you look at them, okay? I feel like they may be insecure with their eyes. I feel like maybe there's glasses involved. There's a lot to do with the eyes with this person, okay? Um, again, I feel like this person is kind of just insecure. I feel like maybe you are the dominant figure in this relationship. I feel like maybe you're the one that's going to be guiding this person or helping this person. Um, I feel like... I do feel like maybe you are just a dominant personality. So maybe you tend to be attracted to submissive people. But I do feel like there's one stronger energy that's opposing a very um, delicate energy, okay? I'm feeling like this person is older. I'm feeling like maybe you're younger, they're older, but you're like kind of mature when it comes to your mentality, when it comes to your emotions. And I feel like you kind of match them at their age, or maybe you just find yourself being more attracted to mature people because you're such a mature person. I feel like you are a mature person who helps other people, okay? So like if you see somebody who's anxious or somebody who is like having issues i feel like you are the type of person who steps up 
to help those who are feeling anxious, to help those who are feeling um, not their best, you know? So I feel like naturally in your way of helping, I feel like you're going to be finding your future lover when you're just casually helping somebody, okay? I feel like maybe you're giving somebody advice. Maybe you're very social and this person's very shy. So you're just giving this friend social advice, but then like this, connection ends up being more intimate because you guys are sharing these like deeper thoughts about socializing and they're expressing their anxiety i just feel like there's somebody who is anxious somebody who is more um, in need of assistance and i feel like you are the one that's going to be assisting your future spouse okay i feel like this person is older though and i feel like you're younger but you have a mature energy so you match them in age again the king of king of coins keeps popping up again very strong opposing energies like i said maybe you're the wolf very dominant in what you do and maybe they're they are the deer maybe they're the deer you're the wolf but like you coming together created this relationship that nobody saw coming you know like i said i feel like you're going to be assisting this person assisting this friend whoever this is i feel like you're like helping them and you're not even thinking of it in a romantic way but i feel like this is going to be your spouse and this person is going to end up being for you okay maybe this is even just a mentor like an adult a teacher like i'm feeling like an older mature person who you're not really supposed to be in a relationship with not supposed to be because it doesn't really matter you know it's not like you're 12 and they're like 50 i'm feeling like you're like a young adult adult I feel like they're like older. I feel like they're maybe 40, 30, 50, and then you're like 20, 30, okay? And I do feel like people wouldn't see this coming together as a relationship. I feel like you didn't see this coming together. Like maybe you're just talking to somebody at work or you're talking to somebody on social media or even if it's just a friend or I don't know. I'm feeling like you come into contact with this person and it's not supposed to be intimate, but then you guys share this like intimate type of conversation and it just blossoms from there. And I feel like they're already stable. I feel like they're already mature. So it's easy for them to just be like, yo, you wanna do this? Let me take you on a date, blah, blah, blah. Like, cause they can pay for everything, okay? It's not like you guys have to figure things out. I feel like this person is very set in what they do and who they are. So it's easy for them to just give you themselves you know two of swords again i'm feeling like very there's a lot of communication here a lot of communication where they wouldn't really say these things to other people okay i feel like you're communicating with them and they're communicating with you and i feel like you're talkative i feel like you talk to a lot of people but i feel like with them they don't really talk to a lot of people so it's very special to be um expressing these things to you okay so if you have a mature person who is kind of venting to you, I feel like there's gonna be something there. But let's move on with the Morgan Greer Tarot to get more of the physical characteristics. Um, I do feel like this person is tan in the um, skin tone. I feel like a very brown tan color of skin tone, black hair. And I'm feeling like colored eyes, honestly. I'm feeling like light eyes, maybe hazel eyes. I'm feeling like, um, yeah, I'm feeling like a, like, I'm feeling like beautiful eyes with dark skin. I don't know why they're anxious about their eyes and their, their eyes are actually like really beautiful. It almost looks hazel, but it's like a brown. Even if it's black, I feel like in the light, it just looks different. Like, or the shape of their eyes just give them like this like twinkle, like this like nice shade. Or maybe it's just the contrast with their eyes and their dark skin tone. So everything pops out. I do feel like this is somebody you're celebrating with. Maybe this is somebody you met at a bar. Or maybe this is somebody you met at a party or a wedding, a family wedding. And you met like another member, not your family member, but like, you know, like from the other side or something. There's a beautiful celebration here. But what do they look like? What does number two's future spouse look like? Oh, I got to climb over stuff. Again, I'm just feeling beautiful eyes. Like the first thing I saw are all these eyes, you know, all these eyes looking at you. And I feel like they're intimidated by eyes. Like I said, the social anxiety thing with eyes, like they don't like making eye contact, but with you, it's different. Also beautiful hair. 
okay we got a lot of curls here we got a lot of like um volume to the hair i love that but i'm feeling like dark hair i'm feeling like dark hair very again older mature man do you see his skin tone like a tan skin tone i'm feeling like a tan skin tone like almost like reddish reddish tan like an orangish tan like orange tone you know um yeah maybe even white hair like they're older enough like i said this person is mature white hair okay gray hair but i'm feeling black hair i'm not feeling like people are going too old um but also if you're older i feel like they're going to be older than you so example for example if you're like 40 i feel like maybe they're like 60 50 okay if you're like 20 i'm feeling like 40 30 okay i'm feeling like a 10 15 year gap anything else anything else what do they look like very young at heart that's why i feel like you guys get along with each other because they're kind of young at heart they're kind of like in the middle of their life but then they also feel like they have so much to live for so when they see somebody younger they're like yes i love this younger energy because i want to you know live the rest of my life actually living it i don't want to just feel old you know living in my house so i feel like they love your young energy because you keep them active you keep you keep them going you keep them out but then you love their mature energy because they're reliable and grounded and um you know loyal all of that okay um dependent sustainable very grounded very sustainable yeah sustainable and grounded i love it facial hair for sure facial hair like beard scruff full facial hair that's what i'm feeling for you um but yeah so that's what i have for you number two thank you for watching please comment like and subscribe if that resonated with you and until next time the world of plant boy hello number three welcome to your reading thank you for coming through i'm going to begin with the tarot grand lux and let's just see what's going to pop up like are we getting the energy are we getting the face what's the first thing we're gonna see so your future spouse a lot of happiness a lot of personality there okay very enthusiastic we saw the sun okay i was feeling like a very strong personality very enthusiastic very happy very um excited to live like you see them and they're just like the hype i feel like this person when you meet them they're just hyped up they have personality there's somebody you're going to remember there's somebody that you feel healthy with okay it's almost like you come to them just to hear them speak just to hear them act just to watch them act and it's like it's like healing because they're just themselves and they're happy and then they're enthusiastic about being themselves and i feel like they just have like a lust for life i feel like this person is very young at heart i feel like this person is very um excited to live like i said they're very enthusiastic about their life they're very enthusiastic about being themselves and they're very in touch with their childhood selves their childlike selves their child selves all right i feel like they're very in tune with their child self so this makes them very like real like people might see them as immature but when you see it you see it as like exciting as like personality fun like somebody who is like excited for everything literally everything is like a hype i also feel like maybe this person is um very immature to the point where they can't really decide what is um not right from wrong but kind of like they can't really decide and decipher uh, what's really going on around them because they're so in their own worlds like they're so they're so in their own happiness and their own vibe like they're in they're in their own dream and they're having fun in their own dream and i love it but i feel like that's where you come in because you kind of bring the scales and you kind of bring this idea of like being able to read energy correctly being able to read people correctly like people's intentions and i feel like you are there to guide them through that type of stuff because you're obviously here i feel like you are a spiritual person very intuitive very um 
able to read people and i feel like this person's the opposite because they're very like present i feel like this person's very present in the moment living life so they don't have time to worry about what somebody else is thinking or how they're feeling like that's just not in them you know but i feel like when it comes to you it's not about worrying what they're thinking but it's just about like when it comes to you i feel like you just are in tune with the people around you you know you're just in tune with how this person's feeling because it's just there you know as opposed to your partner your future spouse they're gonna be very like happy-go-lucky like not that i don't care attitude but like um it doesn't matter attitude you know very beautiful very young i'm feeling like a very fresh energy a very young energy a very soft face very beautiful like i'm feeling like a very beautiful structure i'm almost feeling like a prince a princess like if you think of like a typical prince like handsome charming you know i'm feeling like that type of energy and if you think of like a typical princess i'm feeling like very beautiful very elegant okay do you understand what i'm saying i feel like they fit the description of like a young adult very well like a young man very enthusiastic for life charismatic however they identify as i feel like they're just elegant charming beautiful i feel like they have like this um they have like this vibrance to them okay yes again like child energy like immature energy but also passionate fun energy like they will strive for whatever passion they want they're not gonna overthink things they're not gonna be anxious about things they're just gonna go for these things because that's what they want if they want something in the moment because their heart is telling them oh i want to go run i want to go draw i want to go do this sport i want to sign up for this i want to download that they're gonna do it because that's what their heart is telling them like they feel that passion within themselves and i feel like this person is passionately fueled okay like i feel like number one was very intellectually fueled this is very much passionate fueled very much personality very much heartfelt okay this person might also be seen as a player okay again very handsome very um clean cut like the mustache and the facial hair is very clean cut not very rugged i'm feeling like very young like they keep themselves very clean okay when it comes to their physical physical characteristics i'm feeling like intense eyes okay i'm feeling like they're just like excited okay like a beautiful smile intense eyes i'm feeling like um a clean cut type of look like this is somebody who people think is a player and even if they're not a player just it's just like an assuming type of thing like people judge them for being a player just because they're handsome or just because they have a personality and they talk to everybody but that's not the case you know they might not even be a player depends on the person everybody's different this is a general reading but they have that energy that exudes like um player energy like yeah i can talk to anybody i can get at anybody and i feel like they know that they can get at anybody they want because they just have that thing to them like it's like a beauty i'm feeling like like i'm feeling a lot of beauty a lot of like calm energy excitement at the same time though but like that six of cups is giving me like calm like um nostalgia like very calm very easing energy like it's almost like if you're anxiety filled, if you're an anxiety filled person, this person is like the type of person that cancels that out, you know? I do feel like you guys are very much um, perfect lovers, okay? I feel like you want this, you want this excitement. And I love it. See this dancing right here? Like, come on. The courtship, I love it. Like, very elegant. Like, I'm feeling like a ballroom courtship type of thing. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the Morgan Greer. Is this person look at this like fun energy like you're gonna get together this is very friendly i feel like maybe this is even like this might even be like a friend in your friend group or just like a friend that you already know of or somebody who you're just pleasantly around i feel like this is somebody who loves to talk to people like a very like it's gonna start off as a friendship i feel and it's just gonna go on from there because i feel like they talk to everybody and i feel like they have emotions for everybody like this is somebody who's just emotionally available and just open 
I feel like maybe they might need some guidance around. I feel like maybe they might need this light, like I said before, because they don't really keep in mind the energies around them. So I feel like you are there to protect them from the malicious energies that are around them. Other people who might not have the best intentions, maybe they don't know this, but you can catch on to it and let them know. I feel like you are there to be their light, okay? And I feel like they are there to be your fire, you know? <laughs> light and fire same thing kind of but i feel like they're there to like warm you up be that type of fire that's going to like give you life but i feel like you're the type of light that's going to guide them okay that's going to be like that um securing energy because they just go you know they just go and you're like the dog like wait don't don't go too far you might fall you know I feel like you're that type of person, but you love to be that type of person because it's exciting, you know? It's exciting to be around them. It's exciting not to know what they're gonna do next. And I feel like they're excited to do these things because they know that you are there to be um, protective of them and securing of them. It's like a, it's a beautiful dynamic. It's not like it's somebody taking advantage of the other or somebody doing too much. I feel like it's a well-balanced thing, a mutual relationship that you both agree on. And I love to see it. So thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if that resonated with you. And until next time, the world of Plant Boy.